Hello there, Dan the Weatherman here. Hey, welcome to my weather show. It's quite a busy week of weather across much of New Zealand. A roller coaster ride for temperatures. Hang on to your hats as well with some pretty strong winds. We've got the Southern Ocean opening for business once again, bringing a fair bit of wet weather towards us. The first system to come in is this strip of yellow here. I put the streamlines on just to give you an idea of the upper bends, the upper troughs, and that's the next system to churn in. The main front there, the lumpy stuff, the cold, unstable air behind. Notice in the meantime, it's just bits and pieces of cloud to work in. Let's run this thing through and I'll show you what happens through the course of the week. This is how it starts. It's pretty quiet looking Monday, but then all of a sudden Mother Nature, she opens the floodgates to the south, boom, and then this main front with the good squeeze and a very, very warm nor'wester sets up shop, and this whole mass of stuff and all the lumpy stuff then churns its way north. Monday, strong to severe gales, very heavy rain to the west coast of the South Island, where you see that green. That tracks north Tuesday to the North Island, then the blustery stuff through Wednesday. Most of the meat and bone stays on the western side of the Alps, quiets down for midweek, and then this little cheap cheeky bloke here, that could kick the snow level down to two to three hundred meters briefly into early Friday. We finished the week with high pressure, but heads up further north. Another little system here with a good squeeze, could be an east to nor'easter going into probably what would be next weekend with some wet weather. And we'll see how the positions change with that before, of course, the next system works in, but ending the week with quieter weather for much of the country. I mentioned that wind, it will certainly crank itself up with that nor'wester. Strong to severe gales, 120 to 130. Where you see the purple and particularly the red, those are gales to even severe gale of that zone there on the leading edge of the front. That works into the far south as we run through uh, what is probably later Monday into Tuesday. That tracks up to the north side. Notice how we lose the color. Still got a lot of the strong going eventually west-southwest, quieter, and then the next system here, that tracks in for Friday, not as strong, not as intense. There's your high pressure, notice the blue, quieter winds. And that system there, watch for that, maybe across the far north going into probably next weekend. So ups and downs with wind, ups and downs with temperature, a bit of everything thrown into the mix. Monday. First front sitting right there. The blue line is the snow level, about a thousand meters. So that indicates we've got a warm nor'wester. We could be seeing 15, 16 degrees in that warm nor'wester to eastern parts of the South Island, eastern parts of the North Island too. Your rain is working into the far south and particularly west coast. Probably one to 200 millimeters of rain could pile in over the course of the next several days. That's how we start off. Follow that zone of blue there on the main front. It goes zoom, straight up, blustery, thundery showers into the west coast. With the Alps here, you don't get much coming across. There is some good spillover, but of course eastern areas in what is a pretty keen west and northwest flow. You don't get as much until you get into your southwest change. And that probably happens as you go into Wednesday. Then you're southwesterly. Snow level, by the way, that's your 1,000 meters. So we will drop down six to 800 meters, but most of the moisture stays to the west, stays to the north. The desert road, you might want to watch, of course, for some wintry showers on that going into later Wednesday and into Thursday. Remember later Thursday too, Thursday's a quieter day. There are just one or two showers. You've lost that little cold blast. Not a bad looking day overall, but remember the Southern Ocean, that next little sneaky bloke that slides in with the front there. See the squeeze there, a little southerly, and that will kick the snow level down. If you can believe it, maybe as low as two to 300 meters Thursday night into early Friday, just for some wintry showers. Pretty quick, may give a quick covering and just watch some of the passes. That will track its way through and that even too could do the same sort of thing. The desert road, boom, it goes through. Next weekend, high pressure, but that thing there with the easterly, we'll just see how that thing sets up. It may go east, but it could give you at least maybe some decent swell for some of those northern and eastern coasts. If it's closer, it could be some wind and some rain. Temperature-wise, very warm to parts of Australia over the course of this week. As the highs track around, you get a good flow from the tropics. Well, we have an up and down spell. We start off warm, nor'wester, easily some spots, as I mentioned, mid to upper teens. There's your cool blast. That'll be some single figure highs, some good frost going into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, we have a bit of a breather. Then, of course, early Friday, that's the next little cool surge. That could be significant. Again, some more overnight frost. And look at the orange, like we've taken some orange paint and gone like that. Some significant warmth there to parts of Australia. For us, as I say, ups and downs for the weather. Most of the wet weather is on to the west coast of the south. Um, this purple color here, one to two, maybe 250 millimeters of rain. Some decent spillover towards the Alps. Eastern areas always have the least, probably seeing 
five to ten uh, millimeters of rain, but a decent amount there, western parts of the North Island too, you could be seeing anywhere from 20, 30 to perhaps even 50 millimeters of rain. So that is the plan for the week. Some rain, some wind, some cold as well, all mixed into one. That is our weather. That's the weather for now.